December 30th, New Year's Eve Eve. <laughs> uh, it's National Bacon Day. I mean, come on, if you're going to close out the year, bacon's the way to go, right? That's, that's the thing. And since tomorrow is New Year's Eve, we're going to make a little appetizer today to serve at your New Year's Eve gathering, okay? Featuring bacon, of course. They're something called little bacon bombs. They're these little bacon appetizers. Actually, it's a little cream cheese stuffed biscuit, kind of, wrapped in bacon and fried. So, how could you beat that? It's bacon, it's fried, it's cream cheese. <laughs> it's got to work, right? Okay, let's get started. We're going to jump right in. We're going to take a cup of baking mix, like a Bisquick, okay? Uh... Put that in our bowl here with our bread hook because we're going to make a dough is what we're going to do. So we're not going to use our regular mixer, we're going to use our dough hook. And a third of a cup of milk. Okay, just mix that together until you have like a dough ball, okay? If you have to add a little bit more milk, because if you think it's too dry, just add tiny little amounts of milk until you get it to that doughy consistency. Alrighty, so you get your dough out of there once it's done and you roll it out so it's kind of thin, you know, not too thin, and then just take, if you have a biscuit cutter, great, or I'm using this small little glass, something small, probably, I don't know, maybe a half dollar size, okay? So what you do is take that little bit of biscuit dough and then I have, I'm using today, you can use regular cream cheese and chop up some chives or scallions and throw those in. I'm using actually the chive scallion version of cream cheese that comes in the little tub. Okay, so you take a little bit of that and you just put that right into the center of your little circle here. And then what you're going to do is just pinch it up on the sides like that the two sides together and then pinch up the other two sides together see so it kind of looks like a cannoli first <laughs> and then it looks like a dumpling after okay just keep pinching up the sides so you have it all enclosed in and you have this little bomb so they say okay so they call it just try to make sure that it's don't overfill it otherwise you won't be able to close it up okay and you want to make sure that your filling stays in there because that is the whole point is to have this stuffed little bomb like that okay so that's what you do make this little ball and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your bacon and cut it in half you need about, about 10 strips of bacon and just cut them in half okay so now they're short little strips you take one of your bacon strips okay and you wrap it around your bomb. <laughs> Hence making a bacon bomb. Okay, just like that. Now you're gonna have to secure this. So what I did was, where you can use toothpicks or I like to use skewers and cut them into long skewers, cut them into thirds because they're a little thicker and heavier. So it'll actually be a little easier to kind of move them around in your pan. You know what I mean? And you just skewer it through. And that's it. There's your bomb. And we're going to cook these. I have my oil heating up to about 375 with my candy thermometer here. I didn't want to get out my big deep fryer for this. So we're just going to pan fry them. You're probably going to have to flip them halfway through. So just, you know, keep your eye on them. I don't think there's a specific time. I think you just have to watch how they cook. I mean, obviously you want your bacon to crisp up. You want this baking dough to kind of blow up. I'm assuming that's what it's going to do when you fry it. Okay. So let me get a plate. I'm going to make a whole bunch of these. Don't do them one at a time because then you're going to have to do this. So make your prep them all first, then put them all in first. Uh, second. First, second. <laughs> I'll be right back when we start to drop these in the fryer because I want to see and I want you to see how they start to work. Because I've never done this before. So let's see and hope that we don't just make a big mess here for nothing. <laughs> Worst case scenario, we're just going to peel all the crispy bacon off that we fry and eat that, all right? Because it is bacon day. What we're gonna do now is drop them in our oil about five minutes on each side because you're gonna need to flip these, okay? So have your tongs ready. 
be careful when you're working with oil, obviously. Okay. 350, 375 your oil, not too hot because you don't want them to flip all your stuff. This might be, this might cook faster than we think it's going to cook, but we'll see. Okay? I say less time, yeah, because it looks like they're browning up pretty quick with this baking dough. So, let's do three minutes on each side. Three minutes, flip them, three minutes, and then check them. Make sure your bacon is crispy, because you want crispy bacon on this thing. You don't want, like, a raw piece of bacon fat <laughs> as you're chewing into this. But these look pretty interesting, and I'm hoping they turn out to be a really great appetizer, because they're super easy, and it's like one, two, three, four, five, five ingredients? Hot oil and four ingredients to make this stuff? Can't beat this. Be back when this first batch comes out. Okay, we're back. They're all fried up. Now, because it's the first time we're doing it, a little bit of a learning curve on this one that you gotta do, okay? This is our first batch, this is our second batch. I'll show you the different, look. First batch, see? Second batch. Why does this one look better? Okay, because our learning curve. First of all, don't try to make it into a bomb. We, we progressed as we went along. Try to just do your circle and then fold, put your filling in the center and then fold it over and pinch it around the side so it's a half moon shape like, uh, like a dumpling. You know, like a, like a Chinese dumpling, you know, like, or a pot sticker or, you know what I'm saying. So now you have that half moon shape. Then take your bacon strip and wrap it so it covers, you know, don't do it. The first batch, we just did it in a circle around our little bomb. But what happens is, see, it expands and it comes out the sides. And what tends to happen is, see, it busts open like that. And sometimes these pieces just fall right off as you're cooking them. Okay, so now you have that. <laughs> you have a half. See, there's a half. So... I figured if you wrap the bacon now around that half moon shape, but spread it, don't just do a single wrap, kind of spread it so it covers the whole outside, that's what happens. It keeps it all wrapped in. It puffs, puffs out a little bit on the sides, but not too much. But for the most part, they all stay in. So you get this neater bomb, you know what I mean? Like it, it just holds the whole thing together better. These puff out more, which is great, but if they're going to break off and you're only going to get the half, then that's not really what we're looking for. We want a nice appetizer, a nice big plate of these. Well, anyway, let's just try one and see how we did today with this. I want to see what this combination is like with the bacon and the cream cheese and the dough. Mmm, mmm. Man, is that good. <laughs> oh, wow. That's really good. It's like, it's like pigs in a blanket meets crab rangoon. You know what I mean? You get that, that oniony filling in a crab rangoon in a Chinese restaurant, and you get the bacon with the pigs in a blanket. But the pig is holding this whole thing together today. The pig is the blanket. <laughs> Alrighty, this just needs, you know what, this, this needs some kind of a dipping sauce now. Maybe like a honey mustard. Hmm. Barbecue sauce even with the bacon? Hmm. We'll have to experiment and see. But anyway, enjoy this one for New Year's Eve with your bubbly. Okay, get your pigs in a blanket and get your blanket pigs. <laughs> Put these next to each other on the plate. It's just bacon all around because it's bacon day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow, New Year's Eve, last show.